the inspiration for Mars, I think, comes down in the beginning from our granddad. Like he showed us his telescopes. He was a telescope builder. Uh, we watched the moon. Uh, we watched parts of Mars through his telescopes. Uh, but as well, kind of, we believe that Mars and space travel in general is the next frontier. So when uh, we were traveling the seas and exploring new lands, of course, we have to go up now and we have to explore the universe, what's out there, and can we expand humanity on a different celestial body? Mars, when we started the series, was a potential possibility to go to, but also when you try to ground this series into uh, reality, that is actually the most possible celestial body you can actually visit. So real tech in comparison to our game, of course, we it's inspired by it. We stay very close to realism. We try, uh, we're not trying to convey that we know the truth or that we're real scientists. But what we do try to aim for is a very plausible outcome. How will it look like when we set foot on Mars? What kind of problems will we encounter? Uh, what kind of politics are playing a role in kind of the decisions people make? Then again, there's a lot of technology based on the stuff that is really here from ASA, from NASA, from SpaceX. But there's also some stuff that we need to interpret in a way where we say, hey, could that be a plausible outcome of the future? Well, Mars, of course, is the neighboring planet of Earth, so that makes it very interesting. And we have, because it's in this habitable zone with a distance from the sun in this Goldilocks zone, we want to search for life there. So we want to go there to be able to do the research, to see whether there was life in whatever form that might be possible, and uh, also to, to learn more about the history of the planet. And that's why eventually we want to send humans there. While we can send rovers and they can do a lot of scouting work for us, it's very important, but eventually we want to get humans there also to get more samples back to Earth to then uh, analyze here. Yeah, what I believe is so fascinating about space, it is definitely the next frontier in, in humanity. Then we hear people say most of the time, like we have to save the planet to see what solutions we have on the Earth. But another way is maybe to see, hey, how can we live on as humanity? Mars uh, seems much, much more a familiar environment for the human species. Albeit, it's still quite hostile to what we know with respect to the Earth conditions. In the night, it can get as, as cold as to minus 100, and in the day, to plus 20. You still need to have a support system and technology to be able to survive the Martian night, and then you swing back to the Martian day that is a bit more benign. What we assume for humans is that a round trip will take roughly two and a half years, so that's also something to, to account for. You're not going there to just visit, you're going there to live, you're going there to set base. How are people going to deal with that when Earth is just a tiny dot on, on the sky? So that has a very important psychological impact. What I really hope players to experience when they play Deliver Us Mars is that we take very complex themes that uh, we try to kind of make more explainable through a personal lens, through a family drama. And I think when it is close to the heart like that, I hope players will start to question some of these things that uh, are actually part of our human race. We know technology advances very quickly, so we might get there at a point. But in essence, Mars is much colder than what we have here on Earth. There's much, much less oxygen, There's much less. the atmosphere is much thinner. So if we're going to want to live there, we're going to need to have the right protection. And that's where the science comes in, right? We need to do the science first in order to make sure we can enable this uh, in, the, in the future. Curiosity in humanity is just too big to not try to explore, to not understand what's out there, what's in the middle of it, and what our neighbors are. So I think that it's just inevitable for humanity to keep on going down that line. <laughs>